You're very welcome back to Soccer Cards United for episode 92. This is the Soccer Card Podcast, and I'm Jason, and that's Enzo, and we're back on Zoom. Hello, Enzo. Hey, Jason. Um, now, we're back on Zoom, and the podcast is coming out a day later. So that's two signs to people that things are not all uh, rosy in the Soccer Cards United garden at the moment. No, not at all. Um, I, I Over the weekend, I was struck down by some sort of terrible uh, flu type thing, which keeps insisting to me through repeated antigen tests that it's not COVID. Could be anything. Could be anything. But I'm just like, I'm almost more, I almost just for like my own sake, like I'm like, well, at least if it's COVID, I have like some information about it. I can deal with it, you know? Mm. And I just have this mysterious virus that I'm trying to work through. You might have a new strain of COVID that's actually going to shut down the whole country. So, so I could be patient zero for the new strain. <laughs> That'd be exciting. Uh, finally, oh, a bit of notoriety. Um, so that's why the uh, podcast is delayed. Uh, sorry, sorry about that, gang. Sorry about that, everyone. I, I couldn't talk. But I, don't know, I, I shouldn't apologize. It's your fault. No, it's you have fault. to take some of the it's blame. It's your fault that you're sick. He's coughing away, but he's muting himself. God bless him. Yeah, the video. This is going to be a num- this is going to be a, a fine episode for the audio listeners, but for the video viewers on YouTube, they're they're going to have to still see the coughing, even though they won't be able to hear it. But how are you? I, mean, I don't even need to know. I'll ask. I'll ask another time. You're going to ask me how am I going to string it all together? How are you going to string it all together? Yeah, I don't know. Um, so Enzo, uh, we on Friday or Saturday maybe put out a video on YouTube where we opened a box of Tops Pearl. People should check that out. That was sick. I'm real happy. Um, yeah, I, I actually forgot to give the card to Francesca in the end. Right. Two days in a row. Um, so I actually have all and that, of them That's here. a reference to something that happened in the video. So people should go and watch that. They should check it out because we have now officially, Jason, 185 YouTube subscribers. And we know for a fact Whoa. a lot more people listen to this podcast on their Spotify's and their Apple. Yeah. And follow us on social. So I think people need to get us to that 200 mark. Yeah. I mean, like, even if you don't watch it, you can still subscribe to it. Give it a little, give it a little like. Just click it. And then you can even like mute, you know. Don't, whoa, whoa. But just, I'm assume... just, I just want to see the number tick up. 185 is where we're at, Jason. The way the, way the number's going to tick up is by me and you putting in a bit of work. Okay. Well, later on today, it's probably actually already there by the time people are hearing this podcast. Wait, when are you putting this out? Today as well, but I already have this one ready to... It's already going. I've got a video locked and loaded on the YouTube channel, just ready for me to hit publish. All right, all right. Um, Which is us opening the Manchester City team set. Yeah, which was actually a really fun rip. Yeah, so um, that'll be there as well. We actually, Jason, we sold our very first City team set today um, to, to a man in England. Right, presumably in a Man London. City fan. Maybe. He's in London, though. Hmm. Strange. You, never, you wouldn't know. Um, maybe he's got family in Manchester. But uh, so, yes, yeah, so that's all happening on our YouTube. So you can go and check that out if you want, or you can just stick with the old audio delights and get your <laughs> videos elsewhere if that's what you need to do. Um, now, Enzo, more importantly than all that, you finally went to Korean barbecue. Oh, my God. What a Friday night. So we've been to, for the long time listeners, we know that I went to Korean barbecue, came back and was raving about it. And you had oh. a couple of attempts to go to Korean barbecue and then That's finally achieved it. Yeah, I booked it in. I rang them up. I said, can I get a table for two on Friday, 7.30, Jason? And I said, let's get it. Yeah, good you time know, for wanted, dinner. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to kind of, and I, and me, I went with my, my dear friend, Francesca, and me and her both didn't really eat that whole day because we were like, we're fucking doing it. Like, yeah, we're it's a lot of food, yeah. barbecue. So I hit you up. I made sure I was going to the right place, the same spot you went. You gave me clarity. Yes, that's what you're doing. I said, great. And I get there. I get there, right? Yeah. Maybe 7.30 on the button, I would say. Right. And there was a small queue going out the door, maybe a couple of people in front of us. They sat them people down, looked at us and said, what's up? And we're like, yeah, we have a reservation. They said, oh, yeah, can I? Can you just wait a few minutes? That's, not, how, that's not how reservations yeah, I was like, work. And we waited for 10 minutes. I was like, what's going on? We're just standing there like, we, we have it. What We booked. Like, well, what's going on? Yeah. Weren't impressed. We were like, what's going on in this uh, environment? And there was two like kind of barriers either side of us at the door but neither of them were like they weren't because we were trying to lean on them because we're waiting you know we just but they were like flimsies it was very strange but anyway eventually got to sit down because it's not the kind of place where they could say like take a seat at the bar it's not that big a place no it was really bizarre but it smelled great it looked vibey i was like this is this is great 
then they bring us to the table and they go do you want barbecue because there's like tables to have the little some tables oh, are yeah, yeah they tables. have the on table barbecue yeah, and yeah. we're like yeah of yeah. course that's yeah, what yeah, we're yeah. here for and uh, we sat down then i was kind of like i never asked you for a recommendation and i was like what do i because I, I kind of I didn't want to ask you because I kind of wanted to look at the menu and I I know what I like you know yeah 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 but I was also like was that naive of me was I foolish and then um I was looking through everything I was a bit confused and then there was like there was set A and set B which was essentially everything you know yeah. one of everything bit of everything and Francesca was like we're definitely getting that and I said oh yes I didn't even see it like I was trying to choose and I said wait a minute there's a whole set yeah so we went with set A Jason which was like chicken pork chops ribs fucking to get like that kind of like it was like a sweet beef yeah 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 oh. spicy beef everything yeah, all yeah, that yeah. shit all oh that my shit. god like so if good. i go back that's all i'm getting i'm, I'm like listen the, yeah. the chicken was weird i'll get to that i don't know what was going on with the chicken Delicious i don't food. think chicken fits in in the i think chicken should be excluded from the whole but this thing i ate the because set b set b had um fish on it right so we got set a when i took the first bite of the chicken i was like they have us fish because it was that kind of a texture. It was like salmon. It was weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it tasted yeah. good. But then we eventually decided to leave that on the grill for the longest. To let it try harden up a little bit. Um, but no, so they, they they kept... Do you know what happened, Jason, right? We literally said to your man, so we ordered set A and then we wanted rice. And they said, like, we can give you... In, in our sides, there's only boiled rice. But we wanted fried rice. But he said, fried rice is like it's its own meal. He's like, you know, like fried rice would do one person, he said to me. And we were both looking at each other. And we're like, would it be too much to get like a set A between us and a fried rice? And he just literally just went like this. He was like thinking, this this poor little Asian gentleman. He was like, literally in such deep thought, like, you know, you're not going to be able to do it. Because he's, he, he, what he's trying to tell you is that the fried rice is like a special fried rice. Yeah, he's like, that's like, he's like, too much food. We're like, are you sure? And we were just chatting. And then we said, listen, it's better to have too much than too little. Like, let's go for it. Right. Yeah. We knew we were hungry and we like we wanted a bit of rice with all this meat, you know, we wanted something. And your man said, listen, you could take stuff home as well. So and I said, yeah, perfect. Let's go. Let's fucking go. When I tell you, well, the first, like, they, they they put the beef, they they start putting stuff on the table. They put all a load of meat in the grill on the table or whatever. Yeah. Then Francesca starts to panic because she's like, Enzo, we're in charge of cooking this. Yeah. And I said, that's not, I don't think that's how this works. And I've, mm-hmm. I've never been. But I'm pretty sure they'll come around and do that. And she's like, I don't know. And then we're paranoid because is it going to burn if we don't tend I had to this ex- I had this exact same experience. When and I-, I was like, I don't know what the fuck. And I texted you. I said, Jason, what do you do? But at that point, eventually someone came over and said, do you want me to help you? And I was like, okay, great. Oh, it was delicious. Yeah, so good. So it nice. was delicious. They, they give you little tiny plates, which makes sense because there's not a lot of room the on the table. The plates are tiny. Very tiny because there's not a lot of space on the table. And then the chopsticks, which I had to really grow into because I'm not a chopstick man, but right. by the end of it, I was killing it. Um, I think the, the, the concept is, like, the chopsticks slow you down eating. That yeah. has to help with yeah, metabolism, yeah. right? Has Definitely. To. And then the small plates are just, again... Um, it's a very, like... It's very, like, you... You're going to be eating for a long time. Mm. It's like, you're, me, taking, you're taking a little bit, you're eating it. You're taking a little bit, you're eating it. Yeah, you're, you're, you're getting to it. You know, we didn't really have any former breads or pita or anything like that. So we ended up using like lettuce as like little tacos almost because they gave us this real good fresh lettuce that we think it was designed. Well, that's what, that's what they do in Korea, yeah. And they say, that's they say you have to eat the whole thing together in, in one go. In Korea, they wrap it up the lettuce and they put it in their mouth and they just, they Let don't it bite explode. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I bit it and then it started going everywhere. So I know why they do that. Yeah. Hey, oh, have... you, you, you bit it. And it yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... I, they didn't have Korean beer. Um, right, we, yeah. You said we, we, you said we can't just because you no know, Korean beer was on the menu, but they, they were out of it, right? But they also had Chinese beer, and I said I can't just be. Oh, just give me the give me the Chinese beer, no yeah. problem. I said no, just give me you know. So I got a Heineken or Carlsberg or something instead. But Jason, when I tell you it was delicious, it was delicious. Yeah. Well, let me tell you this: we fucking finished that shit like two Italians. Like this motherfucker was there with his hand in his head, being like, I "Don't know if you're gonna, I don't know if you're gonna be able for this." We were both like, we could take another set A right now on the back of this. Like completely, like we absolutely could have gone set A, gear set B. If I don't see set C on the menu, but the chef better get creative because we were hungry. Like we as soon as we finished, we were like, should we order more? Oh wow, okay. Like literally, not not that we were hungry, like starving. Like it was a lot. Of food. Yeah, yeah, great, yeah. But I was like, you were, but it, maybe that's partly because of you got to eat it so slowly on the tiny plates. I don't that know what like, it was. You're, I mean, you're listen, not. We were expecting a lot of food, so we didn't really eat too much that day, you know. Mm. 
but like the fact that your man like we got the set eight and we got the rice which had an yeah. egg on top of it was amazing oh yeah 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 um Listen, I don't know. We were very tempted. We we then decided that we'd go to a different pub and we'd get dessert there. Um, by the time so we got there, the like kitchen a was closed. Lovely Friday evening. Yeah, we met up with Rachel. It was it was it was great. But but the only problem then was that your clothes smell of of like Korean barbecue. Uh, barbecue, yeah. yeah, 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 but yeah. That's, yeah. that's to be. But then you know what? That's a that's a conversation piece. Next day or later on that day, you see somebody. They you know you're taking off your jacket. And they go. This. They go. We're eating barbecue, and you say, "Well, let me tell you." And now the ice. Let me is this. I'll tell you, it's the whole time we were at our table. Eventually, like maybe halfway through our meal, next was two parents and what looked like a young couple. Where um, it was basically like it was meet the boyfriend kind of going on at oh. Korean barbecue at Korean barbecue. And I let me tell you that the family were not impressed with the boyfriend. It was very funny to witness. He was an American. Listen, don't take any shots. He was American. Um, that's how like I picked up the, my... the family were were Irish. Irish. Right, right. She found herself an American boy who had these tattoos, and I, I knew that they weren't all from the same. Like I knew this wasn't like a family. But as soon as he was explaining yeah, yeah, his yeah. tattoos to these two adults, I said, "Oh, this is yeah. this is different." Then I started paying attention. It was the American accent and him explaining tattoos. I said, "Something's going on at this table." I'm now I'm, I'm involved in. Yeah, and then um, the poor mother, her face. She was just like she. She obviously loved her daughter very much, but yeah, you could see pain in her face. She, She's like, was, this, was, is, this isn't what awkward. I raised her for. This I isn't what I was off. They came after us. They left before us and they left most of their food on the on the plate. It was a train wreck. And the, the, the dad was listening to me and Francesca's conversation for most of it because he was just trying to get just away. trying to zone out. He was... to get, we, we were talking about some sports cards and stuff like that. You know, we were having a good conversation. Um, but no, listen, it was an amazing experience. And I want to go back. It, it was, was probably thinking, enough, why, why, why can't uh, my daughter meet such a, a lovely young man like that over there? Yeah, look at these two, he might yeah. have thought. Yeah, no, yeah, that's a friendship. You can't. Yeah, you can't have that. But no, it was messy. Messy. It was it was a great Korean barbecue experience? I'll tell you that much. It didn't let me down. It never will. You know, I, I'd go back. Well, I've only been see. I've only been to one place. You're so telling now, me, me and you need to hit somewhere else together. Well, now some people are messaging some... me like, because I said you were sick. Yeah. On Instagram, people said, "Oh, Korean barbecue must have went through Jason." I said, "No, no, no." No, not that. No, no. Jason wasn't with me, and do not disrespect Korean barbecue. No, no. You don't disrespect me or Korean barbecue. That was interesting. Well, there we go. There we so, have it. It was a, a weekend of of new illnesses, new food, debauchery, debauchery. Yeah. Um. Right. Will we do the show then? Oh yeah, we must. So it's time for Hobby HQ. This is a segment where we talk about the hobby. A few bits happened this week. A few, a few bits. That's an understatement. <laughs> so, when Erling Haaland moved to Man City earlier uh, this summer, we thought, there you go, there's the biggest hobby news of the year, there's the biggest hobby news of the summer. doesn't get any bigger than that. Uh, Kylian Mbappe announced he's staying with PSG, he's not going to Real Madrid, we think, oh, well, Mbappe, we thought was going to, you know, match Haaland for hype maybe this, this summer and all that. Um, but no, he's staying at PSG, same old, same old, maybe he has a good World Cup, whatever. The Mbappe sales volume is probably not going to be through the roof uh, mm. for another while yet. And then, well, bam, Tops come out the other day and announce a bombshell. Uh, yeah. Four days ago, on a Tops UK Instagram page, we get a, a post. Tops are proud to announce the upcoming Tops Chrome Paris Saint-Germain set for 2021-22, oh, oh, oh. featuring on-card autographs of the stars of PSG, including Leo Messi, Neymar, and the first ever officially licensed Kylian Mbappe autograph cards. And the timeline went into meltdown. We have officially got Kylian Mbappe autographs on the way. Somebody finally got him to sign. Tops got him to sign. Yeah, I can't even imagine the amount of money involved. It's incredible. I don't know what was said or done, or I even it's impossible to know. Yeah, but this is just um I don't know. I, I almost I almost like I think you and I were texting about it at the time, and I was saying like I'm almost sweating. Now I realize now it was probably the fever I was developing at the time. <laughs> I was like thinking like I'm really I, I thought I was really stressed. Mm. Uh, and I was like, geez, I'm really sure. I don't usually get like, I don't usually have like physical stress responses. I was like, what's wrong? And it turns out I was just, I was in the height of uh, oncoming flu. But 
uh, I was like sweating. I was like, oh my God, this set, like it's going to be, I couldn't even process it because obviously we've seen going back as far as the Real Sociedad Chrome set, how yeah. exclusive these things can be. EVB Chrome before that and Transcendent, EV, don't Yeah, forget. before that, yeah. Yeah, Real so, Sociedad Chrome came out. We have Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich coming out. They're not officially out yet, I don't yeah, believe. Yeah, Salzburg came out. Salzburg came out. You know, and we we opened we opened a Real Sociedad box and it was beautiful. Like, like I was there, like, they need to get an AC Milan. Box yeah, 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 you know, we just won the Scudetto. I would lose my shit. Such a huge fan base, like they would lose their shit. Like, I need that. I need that. I, I could just because I, I like. I looked at the Sociedad box and the uh, Salzburg boxes that we, we we had, and you just see the crest on the front of this big yeah. huge box. And I just said, if that was an AC Milan crest, I think I would be just losing my shit. You know? Yeah. Uh, but no, listen, PSG came through when you're when you're going into a World Cup year, Jason, and to have a box as on card autographs from Neymar, Messi, which is peak height for Neymar playing for Brazil yeah. peak height for Messi going into a World Cup for Argentina and then Kylian Mbappe who is the star of France as well but also the fact that he is the first Mbappe autograph ever it's on card it's chrome just and that's ignoring some of the other stars I don't know if they have I think someone might have said Di Maria is in it because it is technically for from last season he isn't gone so there's a bit of I don't really know who's in there who's not in there yeah yeah, yeah. but those three are guaranteed and that like you know, they're in there, and those are the three that you're looking at. And Mbappe is just crazy. So we're not exactly sure of the configuration uh, right now. They haven't announced that detail. Uh, mm. If it's like um, the other ones, then it'll probably be you know, 200, 100 boxes. 200 boxes. Um, and you'll be guaranteed all of the autos on the checklist and in various uh, numbered parallels. Do you know what I was thinking? What's that? I had this weird, because like, do you know how beautiful the boxes are? On the outside, I was thinking, like, imagine if they made. I was thinking this after opening Pearl. If they like took the top the classic Chrome configuration, but then altered it to make like that box, but a little small version of that box. Mm. In it, there's one packet. One of them is your on on card autograph, and it could be anyone. But then, obviously, the price point isn't crazy. Because, yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. That would be fun. That would be fun. That'd be like a almost like a golden ticket situation. Yeah, with PSG, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, like, we just don't know what these are going to retail for. Yeah. Or Higher than 3000 because that was Salzburg, and come on. Yeah. You'd have to. Um, and then resale, we don't even know. And then in terms of the, I mean, the messy, like a messy on-card autos. On-card autos are so rare in soccer mm-hmm. that this is, like, a big deal anyway, even if Mbappe wasn't in it. You know, if this came out and Mbappe wasn't in it, we'd, we'd still be talking about it in a in a... Be saying, oh, Good way. They couldn't get Mbappe in it. Yeah, we'd be sad about that. I'd be literally like, "What is? Who is Mbappe? Like, what yeah. is his problem?" But the fact that Mbappe is in it, and like, we just don't have a precedent for Mbappe autos. We've seen, yeah, uh, what does PSA ten do crazy auto sell for? We don't know. We don't know. That's that's the weirdest part for me. Like, that's the biggest unknown. Because obviously, once they're sold, there will be a lot of because like it's not like there's a Chrome set and people have to hit the the Mbappe and it's somewhere within 10,000 boxes or something like this. If there's 200 boxes come out, let's say a hundred of them get ripped out the gate. Yeah. You yeah, suddenly yeah. have a hundred. Like we, we go from no Mbappe autographs on the market to like a hundred. Yeah. So that's going to be like weird. And you got to be weird. You got to assume like it, it, it is actually, it's a weird, um, almost like a market experiment because you go from having no Mbappe auto market to uh, a complete self-contained Mbappe auto market. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of a weird one poor Jason coughing away here almost forgot to mute myself there and then I, I was imagine like, oh, if you no. had to edit imagine that um, I've got enough to worry about so I just don't know this this news is just huge and um, I'm very excited I mean surely these all come out and could you have the what do you do if you have one of these sets do you hold it do you rip it do you you know yeah, I mean, let's picture you have one on the shelf. You have a guaranteed on card. If it is guaranteed, I don't know if they're changing it up. That's like some sets have it, some don't. But if it's yeah. the same format as it's always been, um, you have a guaranteed. You pretty much have. Uh, I mean, you have a Messi guaranteed on card auto. That's an all time great. The all time great. You have Neymar, who's definitely a Brazilian goat. One of the yeah. goats. You know, he's up there. Um, I don't like talking about Donnarumma, but you could argue in 10, 20 years, he could be. Lauded as one of the best goalkeepers, um, if he gets his career kind of together, yeah, um, and is less shit at long range shots. But you know, he is one of the big young talents. Like people don't really hype goalkeepers very much, but he looks like he's gonna have the Italian jersey for a decade to come. Plus, mm-hmm. um, Hakimi. I mean, like there's a smaller 
players as well that are like kind of that are big. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's one of those things where like there's different strategies you could try if you had a box, but it's just so difficult. You want to open if you're if you're the kind of person that's spending that money on a box, you want to open it and hold it in your hand, hold the cards in your hand, like. But for instance, if somebody bought it and resisted the urge to open it, the first few people that got them opened them, sent them for grading immediately, and then they came back and it turned out they're all getting sevens and eights. You know, Ooh. which I wouldn't put it past. Can I say that's? I never, I never even thought of that. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. If they become known as a set, that's like it's brutal. Yeah, yeah. Seven and eights, and then it's like, well, I have a sealed box. Could be the only ten. <sighs> you know, that's forty like, jazz. Alt, alternate, you could crack a box open. You could take that and bat, You could super express it. You could flip that shit fast, and it could be. You'd like to think the first PSA ten on card auto of Mbappe that hits the market goes crazy. That first auction gonna be stupid yeah, yeah 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 you'd have to assume but i don't know i don't know jason well it's also like as we said like 100 could hit the market at once i think most of them are going to go for grading of course but like 100 hit the market like that's just 100 on card like the 100 on card autos. like at this point in time as soon as they say they're just relief just post release that could be out of from now until forever the highest volume of on-card autograph of Mbappe on the market. Because after that, you're going to assume, like, they don't happen all the time, is what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 agreed. Don't be mad. So we were all kind of excited over that. Um, and then we just saw on on Twitter from apparently a sell sheet somewhere um, that Tops are also doing a PSG team set. Yep, so similar to the Real Sociedad, the Barcelona, the Juventus, the Man City. Yeah, and um, so you have the title winners and our city like cards like you do, and um, you can see the likes of those cards in our Man City video. Uh, but then we just saw, but we see Mbappe sticker autos. Yeah, that motherfucker's hand was working. So he's gone from. I mean, I never. I thought he would go from maybe doing no autos to some autos, mm. but going from doing no autos to doing on card and doing stickers. That's crazy. We never know how many stickers he did, to be fair. That's true. And we also don't know if he's only going to allow stuff to be released under the PSG license. Which could have been... Could have been a condition of the new contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, So we'll have to see about that. That's a fun set because like, I don't know when they're, I don't know which one releases first. I think for iconicness, they need to do the PSG Chrome first. That's what I was thinking. I mean, Tops didn't, I, I can't find any official announcement uh, in terms of public announcement. Obviously, Tops have sent of this the team, team set. Sets. Yeah, I, we just saw it through Twitter. Uh, Twitter. Um, but I hope the Chrome comes out first and like that's yeah. allowed to breathe a little bit before the team set comes out. Yeah, but even forget the breathing, just let it like go down as that box is the first ever release of Mbappe autograph. I think that's yeah. what definitely should happen. Um crazy though. But like yeah. the, the team sets are more fun. Like if you you know say like three grand was the Salzburg set. So it's going to be more expensive than three grand. So a lot of people are already written off being able to get a chance at it. Whereas the team sets should be cheap enough. And then you could just buy a box and if you're a lucky motherfucker you could end up with an Mbappe auto versus needing to already have a shit ton of cash to hit one, you know? Yeah. I, I agree. I love it. Um, do you want to make an early prediction on the one of one Mbappe on this Cardo? Is the thing. This is the thing. First of all, you have to get it into Ken's hands, let him pump it the way he did the triple logo man. Let me yeah. drink a bit of water. That's finishing on Wednesday, I believe. That thing did a fucking world tour. Okay. I think one of one Mbappe. There is like it's weird if 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 this if they had Mbappe autos just in Pops Chrome this year Champions League, mm-hmm. then the one on one is a guaranteed quarter of a million plus, right? Right. I think. I think. See, it depends because people might go, "It's not his rookie," so I don't give a shit. Because like Haaland was his rookie, even though he's in a, a Dortmund game. Like a one on one out of a box that there's two hundred boxes, you have a one or two hundred chance of getting it. Like it's not that makes it less rare, quote unquote. But obviously. But the whole set is rare. So. No, 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 no. I know, I know, I know. I think it's six figures for sure. I'll definitely say that. six. Yeah, off the, definitely off the six, wrap. six. I think it could push seven. Wow. Do you think? Do you not think it could be a million dollar card if it was a PSA ten? I, I, if it was a PSA ten, 
Could it be me? That's why I was thinking about that. Like, I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm pumping it or I'm crazy. I'm literally saying, I think it's guaranteed six figures. I think a hundred grand to happen. Right? No, I think the first, I think to be honest, I think in a situation where this came out and then there were no more on card autos, mm. then yeah, because it's not as rookie, you're not missing out by waiting till next year in a certain sense. Do you know? Oh, you mean like if, if there's a PSG Chrome next year again? Yeah, then. So I, I don't know because one, you'd, you'd imagine he might leave PSG. I, I know that it seems like he'll never leave PSG, but you never know. Well, he, he's got three more years there at least. He might. I don't know. I don't know. But like, but regardless, first is first does matter. It doesn't matter that it's um not his rookie year. It's his first, and it's very documented that it's his first. I I think it, it's probably somewhere between. Three, three and five from the top. Fair. You think there's no chance of it hitting seven figures? Even with the kind of... There is, like, like for example, Ken is always trying to get that modern million-dollar soccer card going. Oh. I, I I think not in the first sale. Yeah, like, you think in a few years' time it could be that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think... Or maybe after the World Cup. Like, if it's made one sale now, he won the World Cup and was incredible in it, then it could... Yeah, I, I think so. I feel like this is the biggest hobby news possible and it's come on a, a week where I'm sick and I can get my least excitable. Yeah, I think, do you think, I, I would have loved it if they dropped it. Like, I know that we're kind of left in suspense, but like, they even teased it a little bit, which fair enough. They were like, who do you want to see? Top three yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Everyone was like, Mbappe, Mbappe, Mbappe. And then they, same day, they're like, boom, motherfuckers, we have Mbappe. And they had like the Messi auto kind of behind Mbappe and people were joking. I mean, like, they don't know what the real Messi auto looks like. So they didn't have it fully. Um, which I didn't really see funny. that. That's very funny. Yeah, that's, oh, very, that's very funny. Um, and I, can I just say I love Neymar's autographs? That's just a beautiful, like the fact that like Neymar and Messi have on card autographs in this set, and that's not even the main attraction. It just says everything about what a crazy fucking set it is. I'm praying to the gods that we can get our hands on a box, maybe a box each, Jason. If we're if we're being oh come on, if we're being if we're being selfish, yeah. Um. But I honestly think I'd freak out if I had one. Like, even there in your room, I would love to just put a shelf and just have it there sealed. Oh, but yeah. I also don't think I have it in me not to open it. Well, that's it. Could you could you realistically... Because because you know it's guaranteed, if it is guaranteed. We don't know if the yeah, configuration yeah. of the box. But assuming it's like the other Chromes... Wouldn't like, that be such a beautiful thing, even for the PC? Like, if you're not sharking it up, you can open this box. And now you know, Soccer Cards United, for example, have an on-card autograph of Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe. It's like an instant... Uh, it's like a game-changer. For the PC? For the PC. It's just... And going into the World Cup, like, it's just such a... It's fucking nuts. Yeah. I, I think, like, if you have a box that you know has a great checklist and all that, and you're looking... Um, but it's not guaranteed. It's just a normal hobby box, or it's something like uh, Obsidian, or... No, not even... like No, more like an Immaculate or something, or... Mm. And uh, national treasures, where it's like, okay, I know there's probably amazing stuff or in here, for or flawless, yeah. So it's like, but I don't actually know what's in it, so I can, I can't risk it. it. I can't risk it, but I can look at it and I can imagine what's in it, and I can, you know, enjoy that. But if you have the guaranteed on card autos, then do you really? You don't really get a lot of that pleasure of holding the box. No. Yeah, I don't need to imagine what's in it. I can imagine, is it an of 99 Mbappe on card or is it a one of one? <laughs> you know, I think 44 or 49 is as low as they go, but I get it, same. same you, know what, you know what I mean? Um, and it's definitely something that, like, over periods and periods of time, it's just going to... Because, like, you'd have to imagine there's actually going to be some good deals to be got, I think, when they hit the market. In terms if of... You're, if you're assuming Mbappe is not going to sign a lot, yeah. right? But, like, they only put out, like, in terms of because it's on card autograph, like, even if they do it once a year, every year, say Messi will end up with three years of it, maybe thereabouts, you know, yeah. if even. You'd have to think long term, like, an of 44 on card autograph, like, the same way, like, you look at some on card autographs from Prism 2014, 2018, I think 2018 is the one. They're of 99, but it's like, motherfucker, you only ever see two of them, ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so at the start, I think we're actually be flooded, but there's so much hype, it's really hard to know what way it'll go. Well, it'd be interesting to see what the initial retail price of the box is. That'll be huge. Then the initial resale price of the box is. Also potentially huge. Then the price of the box after the one-on-one Mbappe gets hit. 
Yeah, very important because that could happen real fast. If that happens real fast, which is it's, it's weird, but that's like the, that's the out of a grail set. That's the grail card. Yeah. Um. Then it's just good. Then it's gonna be interesting to see what the what the, I'm just I just want to know what the one on one Mbappe does, just for my own mental health. So does Golden. I'd say Ken is fucking running in circles, wagging his tail. <laughs> this is without doubt the best Killian Mbappe card ever. Um, ever. Uh, so you know what would have been sick. What's that? You know what would have been fucking sick. A no. fucking triple on card auto Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe. Because surely this is all going down in the same period of time. Mm. Like, even if it was a one on one, like here, just pass it around to the three of them. Even if they, they sign three weeks apart, who cares? They're about to sign on card, just sign there. Yeah, that would be good. That would have been fucking nuts. But isn't is isn't it a testament to how strong the set is that like you don't need that? That's the baseline, and it's like how do you improve, make it better? How do you make it better? No, but that could like because that's the thing. Maybe next year they could get that going. Mm. No, so the set next year is not the same. We have a crumb set, but here we're gonna get these motherfuckers. There'll be five of them: Messi, Neymar, Jula, or Messi, Mbappe, Jula, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god, the 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 combinations are are oh, yeah endless. Um, so that's that's blowing our mind. We're praying to, to end up with one. Everything else on the show pales in comparison, but we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, I'm excited um, for the PSG team sets as well because I think that's a that's yeah. Well, your, team sets are little, fun. Yeah, you're opening this little kind of box, but there could be a lot of reticket inside it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's going to be like because you think about the different demographics that are going to be opening each of those sets. The Chrome oh is going to be, you know. Like high end collector, um, crazy people, crazy people, and then the team set like could conceivably be opened by someone who doesn't even really know what they're open. It'll be it'll be a child, it'll be a collector, it'll be a shark, it'll be a hobbyist, it'll be a high end motherfucker. Could be anyone. Of them. It could be anybody just chasing yeah. that Mbappe. The sticker auto, they don't like that's like. <sighs> what will the sticker auto do? Like you know. What's what does an Mbappe auto base go for? Nobody knows. That's fucked yeah. up. But like, it, there is obviously the fear on the other side that we could end up with. By 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 the next few months, we might just be like, "Oh, there's an Mbappe auto." Yeah, I mean, that's, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, think so, so either. But, but I you just, want to slow burn it if you've got access to a lot of it. Yeah, in terms of a manufacturer. But because also, there are some players like you know. Yosu Akimik or Jude Bellingham even Jude Bellingham mm. just signed a lot a lot forever apparently just will never say I'm not signing that so you just end up with millions and millions of autographs um, but then there are some players that like Robert Lewandowski who doesn't have that many autographs mm. um, so I don't know let's see what happens but very exciting either way yep. congratulations um, congratulations to uh Tops to PSG and to Mbappe himself. Yeah. Um. So, did you see this? Uh, this game organized by Roberto Carlos and Ronaldinho. The be- hashtag the beautiful game that was sponsored by uh, Drobe Collectibles. I did. This was crazy. For anyone who didn't see this, it was basically uh, an exhibition game being played in uh, Florida, and is all these various legends and current players, mostly South American. Um, and one of the people playing was Damien from Drob, former guest of the show. Yeah, one of the guests of our show, one of the few. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, I mean, what's a bigger status symbol for him? Playing, marking Alfonso Davies in an exhibition match or being one of the few people ever to appear as a guest on Soccer Cards United? Don't know. I don't know. There's no way to tell. Um. I'm just looking here. Uh, Dybala, Vidal, uh, Mascherano, Tevez, Falcao, Wesley Schneider. Wesley Schneider do anything. That's why I'm like, he's always popping up. At- he was giving it all this, saying if he if he put in effort, he'd be as good as Messi or Ronaldo, but he wasn't yeah. really bothered like, to enjoy life. Mate, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, there's Deco, uh, Eden Militao. Wow. So a real, oh, Carlos Valderrama. A real cool lineup. A real who's who. A real who's who of, of uh, memorabilia-interested uh, sports stars. 
and uh, yeah, that's that was exciting. It was fun. It was it was broadcast all over the all over the world. Here's okay. a a live tweet that we're just getting in now and so. Okay, to I, us, to us, yeah. Grant uh, on Twitter just asked, "Are y'all gonna rip a case of Chrome this year?" It was very fun watch last year when you ripped a case of Chrome. Do you remember that? I do remember that. Yeah. We have one case of last year's Chrome left and I keep debating between holding it, selling it, and I want to rip that motherfucker. We sold a couple of loose boxes to an Irishman, Jason. I don't know if you've seen this. And he tweeted out. I don't know if you've seen this. He opened... He got three boxes off us. He opened it. And one of his hits was an of 99 Pedri rookie autograph. No, I didn't see that. And he was delighted. I'd say he was. Be. Yeah. As he should be, yeah. I don't know. But this year's Chrome, I'd like to get my hands on it, I think. Um, I've seen a lot of cool shit in it. We've only opened... A pack each. A pack of light and a pack of hobby. That's all we open from from a Prague hobby shop. Yeah. So we're about to listen. The YouTube channel is about to have some, some craziness on it. Um, we yeah, if, if basically if we, if that's going well and we're enjoying ripping stuff, um, there's no reason we couldn't do a, a, a chrome case rip might be a nice little yearly tradition. Yeah. Because that's how you get a feel for the product. Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, and we, we won't make the same mistake we made last year where we opened it without oh, we were in poor lighting or what. But we didn't know what was going on. We didn't, yeah, we got that. No, we got some big hits that we didn't know were big hits. Yeah. Um I'm I'm becoming eagle eye, Jason. Like I opened some paper recently, flagship. Yeah. And it was a, a non-shiny, non-remarkable, nothing. It was a Jonathan David, but I, I looked at it and I said, Hold on, this was at the back of the pack. It's not shiny. There was an insert before it. What's going on here? You know? Mm. And I looked at the back of it and I found out it was an image variation. Very rare image variation. I think one, it's a case hit, I believe. Wow. Or maybe half a case hit because there's more packs. I don't even know. Um, but what was I about to say? Yeah, no, the YouTube, we just opened Pearl. We, we've opened Man City, which you're uploading now or and or it's already up there. We got a nice hit in that one. You should check that out on the YouTube and you should subscribe. We're going to be ripping a box of La Liga Mosaic. We're going to be ripping a box of Serie A Mosaic, which is currently in Jason's house, which breaks my heart because I want to open that so bad. I'll just but show he's that sick to the... He's the sick. People. That's La Liga. He's sick. And now my my only Serie A mosaic box is in his house. And we're going to be opening the Bundesliga Stadium Club. And so, I think that's it for now. Yeah. Ten, I, to be honest, another Pearl box might happen, but I don't know. If, I don't know. We'll talk about that, Jason. Oh, we have to open a Fortuna Liga check set as well. That's a whole different thing, though. That's a whole that that requires a whole lot of research. Yeah, that's going to take some time. And whatever else is coming out in the meantime, we're going to apparently just, we're going to be, we should be getting Panini Road to Qatar Mosaic as well. So that's something that will open if Italy are in it. That's right, Jason. I'm saying if Italy aren't in the road to Qatar. I'll, not... I'll, I'll open it on my own. Fuck you. Um, right. So let me see. Yeah, let's just, let's just um, do, 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 do. Talk about this next item, which is sorry, I lost you on my screen there. Um, Sydney Raybigger was is a rookie in this year's Chrome for RB Leipzig. Um, very strange. I think he's only 17. And when this year's Chrome came out, and we did our little rundown of uh rookies, people asked us to do like a little just go through the checklist. Maybe when flagship came out or something. Can you go through the Tradition, checklist? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It was like, just who are this year's rookies? Can you go through the checklist and just point out some rookies to us? So, you know, and Sydney Rebiger didn't really come up. Uh, I, I think I saw his name. I don't think I mentioned him. Maybe I did. Maybe I'm just, you know. Dissociating. Dissociating. But it wasn't really one I kind of uh, grew attached to. But then out of nowhere, his one of one from Topps Chrome went for $14,000. Jesus. Somebody... Out there in the... I can't believe that a soccer card world exists outside the soccer card podcast, but some other group of people decided that he was it. I don't know. He was the guy. And um, somebody paid $14,000 for his uh, super hey. Um But hold on a second there. Yeah. We even won a one Mukoku autograph. That surely, if... if, if yeah, continue. Continue, listen. So anyway, um, then he just... The other day, it was announced that he has left Orby Leipzig, the under-17 international, and to sign for Greta Furt in the who got relegated last season and are now down uh, in the uh, second Bundesliga. So, yeah, he's only 17. He's got a side there, a five-year deal. He could obviously develop there and, and move back into the Bundesliga and then beyond. Mm. 
But that person has spent 14,000. What do we think? Down, down bad. Down bad. Down bad. It's not the direction you want to see a player go. Um, but he's young enough to bounce back from that. He might end up with more game time, actual game time, and then actually develop properly. He might they might be a force in the second Bundesliga? He might get promoted. He might, you know, anything could happen. But I, I, if I spent fourteen k on a one hundred one, and I seen that news, I would not be vibing. Yeah, but at the same time, if you buy it, like that's and that's almost. I'm not gonna like excuse, I'm not gonna make excuses for the, if this guy ever bought it or or whatever. Or people buying making silly purchases or not even that this was a silly purchase. I'm just saying. I think one of the things about Tops and Panini, although Panini don't really do this. They have the opposite problem. But Tops putting in all these rookies that aren't really rookies on the checklist. Hmm. You're making people believe that Sidney Rabiger is a senior team player, but he's not. Yeah. The same thing with like uh, Charlie Savage and Zidane Iqbal for Man United. You're putting them in as rookies, but they're not rookies. They're academy players. Yeah. So but Essentially, it's higher risk. There's more of a chance of these players flopping. Yeah, you're, you're making people think like, oh, he's already been called up to the big leagues, but he hasn't. Mm. Do you know? Um, but it's that a bad thing. Like, I think I think players should... Again, I think there's a space for a Bowman product here versus the Champions League Chrome product, which should be kind of reserved for people that play. Um, but, like, I'll, like, on the flip side of that, you might catch someone that goes on to have a crazy career who we wouldn't have had such a young card of, for example. Um, but I think people should tread with caution just because it's a one-on-one top scrum doesn't mean it's 14K or anything like it. Without yeah. huge monumental risk associated with that kind of a person. Now, we don't know why that person, whoever bought it, bought it. They might It might have been... Might have been his dad. Might have been his dad. You know, like, who knows? Um, it might have been the chief executive of Greater Firth. Uh, so, but I don't know. It's just, like, just made me think that I don't... There's, these you're very young kids that aren't actually playing. I think it's not that hard to have a stipulation that they have to be in the declared Champions League squad mm. for the team. That's not actually that difficult at all. And I don't think anyone would object to that because there's always a couple of youngsters in the Champions League squad anyway. Yeah, it's, it's a mixed bag, I think. Because how else are they getting into the Champions League crown pro- what, under what pretense? Yeah. I'd like to see something like maybe Champions League Chrome, they're not in it and has a tighter checklist, but then in Chrome Light, you can hit them. Do you mean, why does Chrome Light just have to be a shit version of Champions League Chrome? Why, why can't they just have... Well, not, they listen, no, 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 but I don't mean that, but like that's something like EU exclusive products when you see stuff from Panini, sometimes it's just literally like, here's Prism, which is good, and then he, which is sometimes good, and then our European exclusive is just that, but it's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Why can't you add creativity to the mix? Mm. You know? But I don't know. I get it. Like they, they dug deep. Like I don't even, I don't fully hate it because I understand that they're trying to get their rookies or whatever. Which yeah, but don't have what, what I'm stuff. saying is they're, they're not rookies. No, I know. But I'm saying if they weren't in it, then there would be fuck all rookies in soccer, which would they? I think from their point of view, that's a problem. Which technically it could be. Like we'd probably be more bored of Chrome every year if it's just the same players. That's true. But I don't know. I'm not. Forgiving it, I'm not like excusing it. I think there's a space for it, and it, I think they almost have it right, kind of like because I almost put respect on their name for finding some of the players that they found. If that yeah, makes yeah, sense. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, yeah. okay, you are doing something. I get, I see what I see what you did there, kind of thing. Yeah, and um, and maybe that because a lot of them players are so destined almost to not make it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Means like next year, Leipzig will have a different 17 year old, you know. And at some point, someone like so the rookies yeah. are actually gonna be. And at some point, someone will be, you know, an Erling Haaland or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, I, it's it's risky for like people, like whoever bought that. Like, is it a real sale? We need to ask as well. Like, we don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, tread with caution, especially like there is some seventeen-year-olds that, like, you know, Jude Bellingham, Pedri, Gavi, like those kind of players that came out young and are crazy talented. But you've even yeah. seen with the likes of Ansu Fahi, who is that? He is super talented. There's a lot of risk, even if you have the talent, because you could get injured. Mm-hmm. Um, or Mason Greenwood, you could have all the talent, you could be fit as fuck, but you could be an idiot and a psychopath. Yeah. Um, yeah, but when you when you talk about a player you've never seen play, you're just you're just looking, you know, Leipzig are a good team, they're in the Bundesliga, he's 17, this is a one one, it stops growing. Like that's not the formula. Well, that's it, but that's like that's one of the oldest pieces of advice on this show. Is don't buy players you haven't seen play. Yep. 
And if, you, if you're telling me you've seen Sydney Rebiger play, I have two. I've basically just said to you, well, where have you seen him play? And then if you go, oh well, I. I've been watching a lot of footage from the Leipzig scouting camps where they go, well, then obviously you know more than I do. Good luck to you, like, you know? Mm. But chances are you're not going to say that. You're going to say, oh, uh, oh, uh. Yeah, 14K, that's people more sense than money. More money than sense. (laughs) Listen. Uh, We'll we'll crack on. Um, That's a mess, though. God bless him. That's a mess. Into your football week. Now, obviously, there is no football at the moment, except the under-19 Euros, but I haven't been watching that because I've been sick. Um, you're not yourself when you're sick, Jason. No, no, I'm no, not. no, no, no. You know the way some people like are good patients. Oh my god! You know, and they can like they like they have like little routines, and they know they know how to like look after themselves. Yeah, I'm not yeah. that at all. I get depressed oh when I'm god. sick. Oh god! I'm like a very morose kind of. I'm morose at the best of times. Morose. But when I'm sick, I'm like, oh no. So uh, I'm assuming you're still going to be sick on Thursday. Well, I hope not. But I, won't, I won't be able to go to your house, I would say. I won't be able to go to the studio on Thursday because... Well, whatever is, I have is, is infectious. Yeah, it's lingering in there. Yeah, I just want to rip, rip hobby boxes. <laughs> Actually, in, in that, before we get to your football week, similar to that, Ricardo yeah. Pepe, there was, we seen a few oh, yeah. on Twitter. I believe it was Sports Card Cymru and maybe... Might not have even been him. I might be putting that in his mate. Who fucking was it? Ah, I forgot. I screenshotted it without the person, so apologies. But it was all over Twitter uh, in September. Yeah. An MLS Chrome uh, Ricardo Pepe of 25 autograph sold for $4,100. And more recently, the same of 25. wasn't the same card, but an of 25, the exact same card. Uh, just not the same serial number, I mean. Sold for $280. Jeez. Now, the market's down bad. Pepe's definitely down bad, but that's another one where it's like at the time, four thousand dollars for he was ripping it up in the MLS. To be fair to him, and he what was he sixteen maybe actually to be fair, uh yeah I think he, well, he was, he was young. young he was young anyway yeah um you got to be careful with the American hype train as well as I said I'm scared for the United States at this upcoming World Cup and the hobby because I do think they could just get slapped in their group. I don't want them to. I want to see them progress out, but I do think they could just end up getting slapped. And mainly because they don't have a settled 11, you know? Yeah. I think the, the, the Augsburg move, they just didn't work out for Pepe because when he got there, I don't, I don't know why they, why they bought an American prospect. There's either two things, either they're, they're really stupid and they bought an American prospect in the hope that he would fire them out of a relegation battle. In which case he's like, a teenager is in a new culture, in a new country, in a new league. Mm. You're not a good team, and they expect him to just hit the ground run and then off he goes. Um, but then either that or they just thought, look, we're going to buy him because we can get him now. We can get him cheap, cheaper than we reckon we'll have to get him later. And we'll deal with the, the rest of the squad. We'll get us out of relegation battle. We'll be fine. There's three worse teams than us. And he's one for next year. Maybe that's the case, but either way, right now, he slipped way down the, the USMNT uh, striker rankings. Remember. Yeah, 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 mm. for sure. But listen, there's so much uncertainty in that squad. That's the biggest problem that they have. But it's also good because there is so much talent. It's just that it's going to take a few years for them to actually figure themselves out. Yeah. Uh, I you agree. know. You know um, so, let's see. Yeah, uh, the in the in the papers today, reported by many outlets, uh, Man United executives in Amsterdam uh, to finalise the move of Anthony to Old Trafford. Apparently, yeah, one of the less mentioned Jude class players, just because it seems like he's not as young as everyone else. You know, he, it's almost like wait, he was a rookie. Maybe it's because he shouldn't have had a rookie logo. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, because he has the Brasileiro sticker. Yeah, maybe that's it. I never really count them. Well, he is part of the Jude class in that Chrome last year. Yeah. And all the Champions League products, should I say, last year, um, does some healthy numbers on the low, on the low, uh, the low pop and, and low serial number uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Man United, obviously a huge move. You do forget that sometimes with the state that they're currently in. Yeah, Ten Hag, Eric Ten Hag taking over there at Old Trafford, looking at his Ajax squad, thinking, "Who do I want?" And uh, I said, "I want Anthony." Yeah, and he wants uh, Frankie De Jong as well, apparently former mm-hmm. Ajax player, of course. 
Uh, Anthony is an amazing player. I think would suit the Premier League well, I think. But I think Man United is just such a... I'm very scared of United as a team to, to go to. Yeah, well, we've, we've no idea what Eric Ten Hag's Man United is going to look like. If it's going to look like any of the recent Man United's, it's going to be crap. Uh, apparently, he apparently told Brandon Williams and Aaron Wan-Bissaka they can find a new club, which is like positive. Yeah, I would I would agree with, <laughs> with him. Um, he might I, struggle to find a new club. Yeah, I think Anthony, like you see him play, he's a lot. There's a lot of tricks, a lot of flicks, um, a lot of like dancing on the ball and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting to see how he adapts. I mean, he has played at the top level in Brazil, so he's not. He's not unused to getting kicked. Um, if I he think, had just if he had just played senior football in Holland, I would worry a little bit because yeah, yeah. you know it can be a little bit friendly there. But I think even without the stats to back it up, I think he, him being kind of a flair player in the Premier League could get the timeline going a bit crazy for him. Mm. Well, look, look 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 what the timeline did, but Adama Traore. Yeah, that's different though. That was bad. No, I'm just, I'm just saying that was, that was bad. So no, Anthony, get, get, get. Anthony's going to get six if he if he if he does a couple of step overs, he's going to get six month grace period anyway. Yeah, you know. Listen. Um, if Jaden Sancho could rainbow flick the ball, he if he could run, if he could do anything, but that's not important. Um, so yeah, so Anthony be another big move for the Jude class. The 2020 yeah. 21 uh, year grows ever stronger. Yeah, yeah they and they, those rookies are, are real rookies. Yeah, they just put the tops now out of the grabbing birch with the with the Bayern Munich. Yeah, transfer. So you know, there's good shit happening. That that that's a fun. It's gonna be always, I think, be a fun year to look back on over the next five ten years. Yeah, it's it's the kind of that list of players will map out the the near future of 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 European football. Hmm. Um, then we have uh, Mane, Sadio Mane. Uh, Senegal Bayern Munich. Uh, superstar uh, to Bayern Munich. He's in Munich at the moment. Going to be announced, I think, on Wednesday. Yeah, um, I think I've so seen that... him in a in a polo, but I don't know if that was edited. Could have been edited. Ah, oh, those edited pictures. I don't care for them. Yeah, uh, I don't even understand how the clubs don't get angry. Like, listen, might be real. So no, it, but... someone quoted it said, "This is going to get some getting used to," and it was him signing stuff in a in a Bayern thing. But I also don't know if it was real. Oh, strange. Very strange. Um, Mane ahead of the World Cup. I mean, I, I, I'd i say he'd rather be in the Bundesliga playing for Bayern, banging in goals, than competing. He doesn't want to be competing for a place in a World mm. Cup year. That makes perfect sense to me. No, he's but like, he, he's hardly not going to be starting for Senegal, with all due respect to Senegal. No, no, not for that reason. For the reason form. of sharpness and form. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I don't want to be on the bench because Jota has to play. Yeah. I'm going to the World Cup, damn it. I want to win it. I want to win it. Um, so that's exciting. It'd be interesting to see how his stats uh, stack up. Um, That'll be so interesting to see. Yeah. If he goes into a 40 season man, it's it's absolute cats out the bag. Bundesliga is vibes. Everyone <laughs> needs to relax. The Bundesliga tax is very real. Yeah, because he's got a very, 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 very good scoring record in England. Mm. Um, but not an insane scoring record. Yeah, but people are saying like these are the best couple of years of his career, potentially, and he's going to Bayern. Some people are shitting on him for that, but... How, how, what, like... Listen. He's going from Liverpool to Bayern Munich. Is it... It's a lateral... It's fairly, like, yeah, it's fairly yeah. lateral. People don't want to... It's not a downgrade in any way. Please don't want to believe it. Um, And then... Oh, Arsenal are busy. Uh, Fabio Vieira, who's another one out of the dual class... He's in Merlin okay. Crown for Porto, uh, midfielder uh, from last year. Uh, he's agreed a deal uh, with Arsenal. He'll be going to the Emirates. And apparently they're some signings. Yeah, they're chasing Rafinha from Leeds. And they're still going for Gabriel Jesus. Yeah. So they apparently have an all Portuguese speaking policy in place. Oh, do you know was... what it is? It's Edu, the sporting director, is presumed. Yeah, there you go. There, there was killings when Enketia took the number 14 jersey. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Abuse. He, he literally was like, "This is Henri's my idol. I'm gonna take 14." And everyone's like, "Oh, fuck, it's come back." Yeah, and like everyone, right. Arsenal's like they call him like already. Like they're, they're like, "No, we, we like him." Arsenal fans are like, "We don't like him. He's not French." Um, <laughs> so we'll see what Arsenal do 
next season. Um, and then I had one other thing, which was... Perisic to Spurs was a good one. Perisic to Spurs and Basuma to Spurs. Mm. Uh, Spurs are getting getting ready. Conte, Conte is doing what he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you said, third place, no less. I don't think so. I think that's right, yeah. Um, and it looks like Raheem Sterling may be going to Chelsea. Chelsea. Weird. That could be Christian Pulisic on the yeah, way out. I don't know what, what Chelsea's fixation is with like odd wingers. Yeah, like I don't know. I, I, you know, I don't know what the I don't know what they're doing. But I think with Sterling, it's for me, like I wouldn't necessarily be looking at buying his cards or anything moving from Man City to Chelsea, but it would be good for the hobby if these Premier League top clubs could sell to each other hmm. in a healthy, normal way. Um, because like at the moment we don't really get that. There is no circulation of players between clubs at the top of the Premier League, really. So when you look at players like Haaland, say going to City, we all just assume that when he's finished at City, he'll just leave the Premier League. Absolutely, yeah. Do you know, for Real Madrid, they've said or, it already. Yeah, so like it might be good just because Real Madrid, not so much Barcelona at the moment, and we don't know when Barcelona are going to be back with that kind of spending power. But like Real Madrid and Bayern and PSG. What's that? Barcelona recently, um, they had a friendly in Australia and the players said they didn't want to go. And then Xavi said, oh, that's fine. But if you want to get paid, put five million on the table. Otherwise, we're going to Australia to get our wages. And then they played against the, the Australian League All-Star team. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's very good. So Barca's not. Barca's down no. bad. And they're yeah, still yeah. talking about getting Robert Lewandowski. It's like, how... Yeah, you... Robert Lewandowski and Bernardo Silva. And fucking everyone. Like, yeah. Me- Messi. Why not Messi while they're at it? Good luck. Um, so, yeah. So, we need these Premier League clubs to be able to, like, circulate players. Players. Because it's good. Like, as a hobby, we want a healthy transfer market. We yeah, want players but... to be able to build on success at one club and go to another club. Did you see the other Kylian Mbappe news this week? Or were you too sick? Uh... No, I didn't see it. I love sick Jason. I I could just picture you because normally you just live on Twitter and you get all your information. <laughs> Kylian Mbappe, there was a report on Twitter by someone that came out and I said that Kylian Mbappe basically promised that he was never going to play for France again. And then Mbappe quote tweeted it. And instead of the quote tweet being like, this is bullshit, Mbappe was like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. no, but he's playing for France. But he said that there was a point we missed it, but there was a point where he was saying to the French Federation, I'm not playing anymore. Really? Uh, because after he missed the penalty in the Euros, and he said it wasn't about the penalty, but after he missed the penalty in the Euros, he was being racially abused and the Federation didn't, like, do, say anything, you know? Like, yeah, same they, way, I guess, they, they online. They no one was stand like, over him. No one was like, fuck you. So because of that, he was like, I'm not playing for France anymore, but obviously he's been talked out of it. But um, that's big, big news as well, especially when you're thinking one of the things you're waiting for him to up his prices or whatever, we're like, the yeah, World yeah, Cup yeah. is going to shit like that can happen and like and especially when you're such a because he he's has he has so much at such a young age yeah and he has like legend status yeah he can yeah. just be like fuck everyone i'm not gonna do it. i've already won a world cup i don't even give a shit yeah i think even though of course he does yeah i won a world cup for you again out of the dog's mouth though he said it himself he said it was well, not about the penalty like he wasn't quitting france because of the penalty and the abuse he got for that but it was ferocious abuse that he felt he wasn't them um, defended a bit and then florentino perez came out as well and said that uh He's disappointed. This separate story, Jason, I just figured you might not have seen it yeah. here. He said he's disappointed with Mbappe. He said the Mbappe we tried to sign is not the current Mbappe. The current Mbappe has been getting on phone calls with the with the prince, French president begging him to leave yeah. Paris and going to Qatar or wherever. And uh, we don't know what they're giving him over there, but this man is not our man anymore. Yeah, we're but gonna buy, enough. We're going to... I know he talks, right? We're going to buy Haaland. Because uh, Haaland has a 150 million release calls. Do you know that? I didn't know that, no. So Man City are getting them for like three years, but there's a high chance. Like that's, you know, like getting it in there back in the day. Yeah. Uh, he has a 150 million release clause, which basically Real Madrid have said we're probably going to trigger that. Which is wow. Real Madrid say a lot of shit, but like that is a fun hobby fact that like, it's not like the Barcelona players or the Spanish league players that have the 1 billion release clause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have one. There's, a, there's a very financially accessible for for, for one of one of three clubs. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, in Mbappe's contract. So the key's going to, in Haaland's contract. So he's going to have a lot of um, leverage power into his career in, in in Man City, especially if he's doing well. 
very exciting. So the narratives are shaping up for these two oh, exactly. young superstars to to dominate the hobby for years to come. And then Darwin Nunes too, who I'm sure will be compared to Mbappe if he's always compared to Haaland, Jason. Surely. 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 It must be that good. Cool. No, must be. Um, right. Uh, that's it for, for, for this week's show. Um, thank you for listening or watching. And uh, we're back on Thursday, maybe in person, maybe over Zoom for me. Uh, and I'll be in a better state of physical yeah. health. And then, listen, we're going to put out the Man City opening, and then we're hoping to get more in. But so long as you're sick, Jason, kind of might need to stuck in maybe that. the La Liga one we could get going on. Uh, if you could like have me zoomed in, but you're doing it, I don't know if we could figure that out. I could try to figure that out. Maybe listen, listen, but you need to rest. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll work it in the meantime. There's the uh, Man City uh videos up there if you like. And, and please um, do hit the subscribe. We're trying to hit 200, so we're just trying to hit that little mini mind milestone to kick us off for 15 away. I will say this, our podcast listeners have been smashing the Spotify rating thing since that uh, was released um, and, and all that. So like the that the podcast is energy is, 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 is good and the, the support is there. So um, if you want to take some of that energy and redirect it to YouTube and get a bit of short form content from us, you can do that as well. So right, we'll see you all on Thursday. Thank you. See ya.